If you use indirect classical targeting, you are not able to analyze the anatomy of each patient. You are obliged to rely on average data. It was an interaction between WenLab and my team that we improved this technology. And we performed an acquisition of MRI sequences in stereotactic conditions. After that, we worked on the mapping. And then based on that, we have a 3D representation of the anatomy of the patient. Now we plan the trajectory in order to reach the region of interest. We analyze this region and place the electrode in the correct place. Professor Le Maire is a very extensive user of our uh, product iPlan. He is acquiring all these electrophysiological data as well as intraoperative stimulation data in order to really do the best planning possible. The main interest of the, this accurate anatomical placement is that we are able to propose new kind of, tra of trajectories of to place electrodes in order to improve the patient, of course, but also to reduce the adverse effect. It's possible now because we have the information about nuclei and connectivity of the brain through the fiber tracking system. For us at BrainApp, the main goal is to represent all the different data in a way that it is useful for the physician in order to let him make the decision about the optimum implant position in a very streamlined way. Now we are improving the outcome because we are able to be more accurate. We are able to propose new way of targeting in the brain because we know the exact anatomy of each individual. So it's a huge step.